So as I continue to read chronologically through the Old Testament and at the moment tracking with the life of David through First and Second Samuel and Chronicles, the recurring theme that just keeps building and compounding is that of conflict, uh, war, tension, violence. And it really is pretty staggering just the amount of hostility that David navigates in his reign. There's the events where Absalom tries to oust David from his throne and almost succeeds. And then later on, at the very end of David's life, Absalom's younger brother also tries something very similar and tries to sort of take the the throne from under Solomon's nose. Um, But David at the last minute intervenes and establishes Solomon on the throne. So there's this whole sense where there's this constant ego at play and the theme that runs from before these events right through to this current day is that of tension at the highest levels of leadership, national and even with empires. And Jerusalem in particular, Israel as a nation, has really never seen any great long seasons of peace in its history. There's always this vying for um, power and upper hand and control of the systems. So where does that leave us? What does that mean? Well, I think it ultimately brings us to the ministry of Jesus and the promise and prophetic vision that he gives us of the future, where along with the prophecies of Isaiah and others, the new creation, the kingdom come, will usher in the reality of a true peace that I think humanity longs for and yet really no matter how hard it tries just cannot manufacture anything even close to it with this constant ego-driven political agenda that turns into a military agenda that seems to blanket the earth even right now as we occupy it. So then it turns our prayers to the prayers of Revelation even where it just says come Lord Jesus and the Spirit and the Bride say come where there's part of our heart that I think yearns deeply and leans forward into the future to say, Lord, there's so much wrong with the world. There's things wrong with us individually, both in our souls and also in our bodies not working right. There's things wrong with our communities, even although many of us live in relative peace and uh, abundance. There's many things wrong with our nations and the empires and the great corporation states that now have that sense of empire about them in which greed always seems to be the, uh, the the name of the day. So all the reading of the Old Testament and the rehearsing of David's kingdom and all the intrigue and politics and tension around that, it's really just a reflection in a new manner of what is going on today, but then also activates our appetite, I think, for the kingdom of God to be truly revealed, to be truly disclosed and to blanket the earth in the way in which it talks about in Romans chapter 8 and at the end of Revelation where we shall truly see um, the, the kingdom of God descend upon the earth in a comprehensive and unprecedented way. And so until that day we seek to live out the kingdom ethic of the ministry of Jesus but also look forward with prophetic anticipation to what the future holds. So just a few thoughts that were stirred up I guess from my reading there uh, of David's kingship. So until next time, take care. Peace.